Hey guys. Hello, how are you? What are you up to? We're just letting people know that Jesus loves them and that perfect love casts out all fear. Oh, what there's a, nice a lot thing of people that are feeling afraid and things. Yeah, yeah. 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 We just want to pray for people to like receive we've just been out in the mall sharing the love of Jesus by doing sign writing and, and communicating that Jesus loves everybody and it's yeah created a little bit of interest and people have been walking past and asking us what are you doing and why are you doing it I didn't realize I was actually coming out into the street today so I was looking for a way to get out the back door and then I was talking to Emily and I said, look, I'm good at doing art, so can I come with you guys so I can do their artwork so I don't really have to sort of speak to too many people, but it's a good icebreaker doing the artwork because people come up to you and ask you what you're doing and it's very natural. So you can just sort of say, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing some sign writing and letting people know that Jesus loves them and that we'd like to share that with you so that you know that you're loved. Just a little bit down there, similar to what we've got here. Uh, we wrote down in chalk, Jesus loves you. And I quite like it because also there's like a little walkway up there where sort of near the food court, people are wandering from their lunch and they can see that. And my thought was actually when an older couple were look, watching us draw, they asked uh, what we were writing. And I said to them that, oh, we're just writing Jesus loves you because there's a lot of fear going around at the moment with coronavirus and all the stuff in the world and people just wandering around want to know that they're at least loved and that that's a really cool way to do that it's just writing out Jesus loves you and they were really open to that. Pat and the girls had written the full scripture perfect love cast out of fear and then we're planning to move on and I noticed a gentleman uh, come and stand on the word cast he didn't deliberately just happened to be and I knew just hang around here and uh, the guys moved on and I also noticed that he looked down and then realised he was on chalk art and walked away from it. So I took that as an opportunity to approach us this morning and said thank you for acknowledging that he was standing on artwork. And then I read the scripture to him and you could just see in his eyes he was just ready. And I asked him, are you ready to pray like Jesus be your Lord and say, do you want to accept Christ? He was like, yes. So we led him in a prayer and we just explained to him he's now in the, the kingdom of light and that light is more powerful than darkness. Yeah. Went by this woman, told her that Jesus loved her and she just, she wasn't interested at all and she actually looked so blank. I walked away and then God just prompted me to give her the money that I had in my wallet and it was only five dollars. So I gave it to her and then I just told her that Jesus loved her and that he prompted me to give it to her and her face lit up and she said, are you going to church? I'd love to come to church with you. And I guess that is church, isn't it? It's the body being, you know, the hands and feet of Christ. When we were singing and we had a few encounters, but the last one was amazing. So we yes. encountered these two Indians who were waiting by the bus stop and we came up to them and my mum was saying, do you know uh, who God is? And they were like, no. I said, do you know Jesus? Do you know who Jesus is? No. I said, do, do you know anything about God? No. Do you want to know about it? Yes. Mm. So they actually moved and we just shared the gospel in a very, very simple way. You know, 2000 years ago, Jesus came, fully man, fully God, to save us all from our sins. Do you want to know more about it? Or do you want to say, yes. So we were all like in the middle of the bus station. Yeah. And Chris is involved as well. Five of us. And they left, the, you know, they, they really gave genuinely me. gave their lives to Jesus. We got led to McDonald's treasure hunting. I um, met with a girl there who had two days before prayed, or sort of said, oh look, I really got to walk with God more. So um, a couple of days ago I was at home, I was like writing down my whiteboard for my uni studies and then I wrote down these two Bible verses. One was about like not worrying about anything or praying to God about everything. And I just wrote them down and I was like talking to myself about like, how I need to get really close with God with, like until I finish my uni degree and then now I'm sitting in McDonald's and then two random guys come up to me and they're like, oh we want to pray for you. And it was literally like everything I had been thinking about. So yeah, it's weird but Praise it happens God. for a reason. So, Praise yeah. God. Huh? Thank you and I appreciate you guys. <laughs> uh, we got led to a shelter up in the middle of the mall 
and uh, there was two guys waiting there, one of whom had been like doing Christian stuff at school, the other hadn't, shared the gospel with them. Uh, they both uh, committed their hearts to the Lord, which was amazing. I went up to him and I asked him, hey, can I just pray for the boy there? And he was like, sure, you can. When I was praying for him, he just looked into my eyes, like directly. I don't think they can really understand um, what we're saying, but he looked into my eyes and he started smiling, biggest smile on his face when I was praying for him. And then Jeff, the, uh, he was an older man, he was taking care of the boy. He just thanked the soul and he said that he had a faith and that he gave it up. But he was so thankful for us and he gave us all a hug and he was tearing up and it was very emotional for him. And I think we, we just rocked him then. Like he, the, Jesus' love just smashed him. And it was, it was unbelievable. That was the first time I've ever done that. And it's crazy. I'm, I'm so pumped. Evangelism is fine,